Welcome back. I'm joined now by Paige Knopsik with St. Mary's Medical Center. And today we're going to talk about, we're going into July. Actually, we're in July. Wow. It's July. There we go. <laughs> and July is Lymphoma Awareness Month. So for those who don't maybe know what lymphoma is or, or exactly what type of disease it is, what exactly is lymphoma? So lymphoma is a cancer of the lymphatic system, is specifically involving cells called lymphocytes. Mm -hmm. They work as part of the immune system, and lymphoma can be classified as Hodgkin's lymphoma or non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. And non-Hodgkin's lymphoma is a really diverse group of different cancers of lymphoid tissue. Mm -hmm. Um, lymphoma develops when these lymphocytes acquire harmful genetic changes and then they replicate and divide again and again. Okay. And these abnormal cells can travel throughout any part of the body. Okay. So you mentioned that there was a non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and then Hodgkin's lymphoma. So what is Hodgkin's lymphoma then? I didn't say that properly, but yes. Hodgkin's lymphoma and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, uh, they vary. Non-Hodgkin's lymphoma is... It derives from T cells, from B cells, and sometimes from natural killer cells. And the presentation is much more diverse than Hodgkin's lymphoma. Okay. Hodgkin's lymphoma classically presents in men who are in their late 30s. Okay. So various differences and different cells that they originate from. Interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so what are some of the symptoms of this disease? So symptoms of lymphoma really vary. Mm -hmm. The disease is is pretty heterogeneous, so the symptoms that you have are based on the type of lymphoma that you have and where in the body the lymphoma is. Okay. But some pretty typical symptoms are enlarged lymph nodes. They're typically swollen and non-tender, non-painful. You can find them under the arms, in the groin, and in the neck. Mm -hmm. Other symptoms include fatigue, unexplained weight loss, fevers, and night sweats. Okay. And is this um, a widespread illness or is it, does it usually target like one specific group of people? I know you said that Hodgkin's usually targets um, men over 35. So is it generalized or? So according to the National Cancer Institute, there will be about 82,310 cases of lymphoma diagnosed in the country this year. 10% uh, of that is going to be Hodgkin's lymphoma. Mm -hmm. And it's actually a pretty rare disease, okay. and about 4.7% of new cancers in the country are lymphomas. Okay, so, um, you know, it sounded like a big number, but you said it's not, it's not as common as maybe other types of cancers. Correct. Okay, and I know that uh, St. Mary's, they usually do this with some of their awareness months, that they uh, project some of these ribbons on their buildings. Are you doing yes. that for this month? We are. We have a 20-foot lime green ribbon projected on the building. There you go. Uh, it helps bring awareness to lymphoma and, and how you can lead a healthy life without cancer. There you go. Perfect. And so if people, um, you know, maybe have someone in their family who has this disease or they're trying to get more information, um, is there like a place they can go to or maybe a website they can check out? Sure. Um, the internet can be great and can be very misleading. So mm -hmm. we, we recommend that people stick to um, reputable sites, mm -hmm. WebMD, the Mayo Clinic, the CDC. Mm -hmm. They have some great information there. And then your biggest resource um, is your family practice physician. Yes. So if you have any of these concerning symptoms or want to just want more information, you can always reach out to your family doctor. Perfect. Okay, well, thank you so much for coming on You're and telling welcome. us about this Awareness Month. And we'll have more information on that on our website, plusinfoclaw.com. We'll be right back after the break. Thank great. you. You're welcome. Thank you.